Yeah, okay, I'm the Jeremy Milgram, a rabbi from Jerusalem, and I'm part of Clergy for Peace. We were here, a rabbi and a Christian priest and a Muslim sheikh together. Um, for more than 30 years, my work has been crossing the border, the border that separates Jews and Palestinians in Israel, and uh, developing friendships, um, feeling uh, a growing feeling of empathy, but also an anger at the um, tragedy of the conflict. Uh, reconciliation is um, uh, a very important concept. Uh, I, I happen to believe that uh, to talk about reconciliation in a situation of ongoing injustice and even uh, worsening injustice um, is, is a, an impossible thing. It's even a kind of an insult to one's intelligence and it involves a kind of appeasement or a, uh, an uh, abdication of, um, of one's rights. Um, but I can uh, talk of so many moments when I felt embraced by the other. The other can be um, a Palestinian who never thought they'd have the opportunity to meet and to uh, understand and to uh, appreciate something from a Jew. But I can also speak about uh, right-wing Jews who I think are making terrible mistakes. And sometimes they also uh, can show a soft spot. So there have been moments of warmth mixed in with the the general feeling of, of sadness and despair. I remember once I was coming back from Bethlehem uh, with a water heater that friends had bought for me there, living in a refugee camp. And they, uh, they said they'd come the next day uh, into Jerusalem to fix it. This is before the wall was built and before it was impossible for them to come in. And um, somehow I, I had this fear, sudden fear, that even though my friends were nice people and all that and I trusted them, but maybe someone else knew that this water heater was going to come into Jerusalem and would put a bomb in this heater and, and would, um, uh, it would be an opportunity to, to get back at uh, the other side that had done such injustice. And so when I brought the car uh, back into Jerusalem, uh, I didn't park near my house. I didn't want it to ex explode and to hurt people in my building. And then the, the next morning, uh, I, I woke up late. And so when my friends from the refugee camp came into Jerusalem and they said, how come I parked so far away? They'd have to carry this water heater. And I said, oh my gosh, what can I tell them? I, I, what can I tell them that I thought that they were going to kill me with a bomb? And I've, of course, I was so happy to see them. And, and um, despite these occasional lapses and moments of, of suspicion, I've been buoyed and supported and comforted by the human caring and warmth. Um, but I, I can't say that this is enough to, um, to paint a rosy picture. The situation is grim, and we call on people from all over to show their concern and to help us reach a just peace.